Kathy Sola put in the comments um, a quote from Dr. Luther saying, some regard the catechism as a poor, mean teaching. They think they can read it through in one time, immediately know it, throw the book into a corner, and be ashamed to never read it again, or be ashamed to read it again. Mm-hmm. I love that quote, but only if you understand that Dr. Luther is not talking about the small catechism. Hmm. He is not talking about his writing at all. He's talking about the Ten Commandments, the Apostles' Creed, and the Lord's Prayer. That's it. Nothing else. Okay? So, to apply that, if you apply that to the small catechism, you are doing incredible violence to Luther's actual quote Hmm. and his actual meaning. He's not saying, you need to read my stuff over and over again for the rest of our forever. (laughs) He's saying that these, these, these three things you can memorize far more easily than all the what does this means are the summary of Christianity. Again, I wrote a book about that. <laughs> it's called Echo. You should read it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's based upon this, this very insight that he has. Like You can't get enough. And I will say that um, uh, thanks be to Jesus, uh, Dr. Luther says in large catechism that every morning when you wake up, you should say the Ten Commandments, the Creed, and the Lord's Prayer to yourself. And for years, I was like, if only I could. And you know, it's been like two years. It's like Sons of Solomon, right into it. Hmm. Every day. And I know tomorrow I'll fail, I'm sure. So it's not a law, it's not a vow. Um, but yeah, it's an cr- incredible blessing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, what Luther says is right, but you got to hear it rightly. If you apply that to like catechism class, you just, you know, that's not, he's not talking about catechism class, um, which is generally not even about the small catechism. It's like memorize the small catechism and then we're going to go through some like Kaler dogmatics. And, it, and just these poor kids were just, were just <laughs> destroying their faith. Um, by making the Bible seem like the most obtuse thing in the world. Like, just, just read Kings. And, and then talk about the Catechism, Ten Commandments, Creed, Lord's Prayer, in Kings. It's there. It's like on every page. 